Great crowd on hand here tonight at the Vine Center for VCU's first trip to Lynchburg since 1995, and the Liberty Flames gave them all they wanted. But the final score tonight, Rams come out on top of the Flames 64-59. Alongside Paul Nazigan, my name is Nick Pierce, and Paul, this game had everything you could have wanted out of it. Uh, an emotional roller coaster, flea changes, nip and tuck the whole way to the end, and the Flames... They got down by double digits there in the second half, but roared back to make it a, a close ball game and got to, got it to within three at one point before the Rams pulled away. Yeah, the excitement of this game and, and the environment, it was hard to believe it's still early November. Um, just the crowd was here and the kids just played so hard and just really competed. Um, you know, a lot of good things. A lot of question marks kind of coming into this game, really from both teams. And I think a lot of questions were answered. We saw a great one tonight. Yeah, VCU losing its top scorer from last year. Then Liberty coming in here. How would the Flames compete with a team the caliber of the Rams? And I think those questions were answered early on, especially from the defensive standpoint, the intensity on that side of the floor. Yeah, you know, and, and the biggest question mark was could they handle the pressure, you know, and the havoc as Virginia Union, uh, Virginia Commonwealth brings it. I mean, and, and again, we thought there was the potential to do well because we're so deep at the guards. And they really stepped up. And, and, and who would have thought that uh, VCU would have more turnovers than Liberty? <laughs> and so great job there. Um, again, a lot of things to, to glean from and, and, and build on. Um, even in even in the loss, just a, it's a great outing and um, a great competitive spirit the guys showed tonight. Yeah, after the ball game, the Flames were encouraged by the competitiveness they showed here tonight, but obviously disappointed with the loss. We we have heart. Uh, we we never we never gave up. Uh, this in this game when they did that run the second half, I mean we we just compete, and that, that's what I love on, on my team. We we never we never quit and we we compete. Uh, we gave our very best. Yeah, it came down to execution, and uh, they executed better than us in the uh, second half towards the stretch, and we got to do a better job of executing the plays that Coach calls. I think that this is definitely a confidence booster, uh, knowing that we can compete with anybody. We already knew that we can compete with anybody, but this is definitely a test. You know, make them shoot, uh, make them play outside of the game, because I know they like to get into the paint, whether it's a post touch or dribble drive. Uh, we try to extend that out, you know, protect the pack as much as we can, and. Uh, uh, second half, they kind of got into our pack and started denting it a little bit more and more, and that, that's what hurt us this game. Uh, our young guys, uh, Georgie Pacheco, he stepped up. Uh, Brock Garner got some burn. He stepped up with Josiah. I mean, everybody who wasn't here that came in, Mayo, he stepped up. I mean, it was it was encouraging to see them step up, but uh, we didn't get the result we wanted. I thought we competed well. You know, we just had spurts in the game where we weren't scoring. We were turning the ball over. They were getting buckets on the other end, so we got to limit those those highs and lows in the game. I think that's one of the best things about this team. We're going to compete with anybody. We're going to go into uh, Indiana on Saturday and we're going to compete. So you know you're going to get that from us every night. Now we got to bring on the execution with it. I'm proud of our guys. Uh, I want to give credit to VCU where it's due, though. They got a veteran team and a tradition of winning that I think in Lewis, Williams, Mo Alley Cox, uh, they, they just believe they're, they're going to have a great chance to win the game. So. Um, uh, congratulations to them and and uh, Coach Will Wade and his staff. Uh, I will say I, I think our guys are coming. We we've got a good team and we have a great group of young men. They're fun to coach um, and they're all disappointed. They wanted to win, so I think things are trending in the right direction. Um, but we have a long way to go. I, I thought everyone that came in battled, and um, and you have to play you have to play well on the defensive end to have a chance, and we had a chance. VCU with a win here tonight gets to 2-0 and on the season. The Flames of the loss fall to 1-1. One and one. Paul, as you uh, look at some of the leading scorers here for Liberty, John Dawson with 14. Uh, there was a point where it didn't look like he was going to lead this team in scoring tonight. <laughs> he, he really turned it on down the stretch. A.C. Reed with 11, then Caleb Holmesley with 10. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, a few too many empty possessions down the stretch there for the Flames. And Richie McKay said, hey, that's on me. You know, I want these guys to be able to figure it out now. That's got to be valuable for this team going forward. Yeah, for sure. You know, and we were talking about it, you know, on the TV broadcast that um, it's a nice commodity to have some guys that if a couple guys are a little bit off or, or in the midst of a drought, other guys can step up and score. Um, tonight, you know, their leader, John Doss, was a little bit off. You know, we got into some foul trouble. And that can really play with your head, you know. And I think he was a little bit out of sync, but came back strong down the stretch, you know. Again, he showed his leadership and experience by shaking that 
first half off and really having a great uh, run, hit some really big baskets. Other guys too, Caleb Holmesley, uh, his, his penetration, scoring some buckets early uh, that built a little bit of a lead. So again, a lot of good things to build on. Guys, um, you know, grew up, grew, gained some more confidence against playing against a really uh, great quality club in, in VCU that's, uh, again, picked third to finish in the Atlantic 10, which is a really tough conference. So um, again, more to build on. Yeah, big play down the stretch that a lot of folks I'm sure will be talking about. Mayo Baxter Bell fouled out on that play. It was inside the last uh, minute, two minutes. Uh, what yeah. did you see from your angle, Paul? Well, you know, it's one of those. <laughs> what puts you on the spot? What yeah, you, see? you know, it's funny. Uh, the, the shot goes up, and I, and I saw the, the him grabbing the ball. I was watching his feet, and he came down out of bounds. And I heard the whistle, and I thought, okay, that's going to be Liberty ball. But they had said that kind of that Mayo had kind of ridden him out. It's it's a call that could go 50-50. Sure. Um, and, uh, but – Again, leading up to that, for the Flames to kind of do what they needed to do to, to put themselves in a one-possession game with, with uh, getting a miss on the free throw, um, they did a lot of good things to, to just keep themselves in it. And when they could have kind of packed it in and said, hey, you know, we had a good 38 minutes and made a respectable showing, they fought right to the end. And, um, again, those are things that, again, a, a young squad still that – tucking those lessons away, learning valuable lessons that are going to pay off later in the year. Well, VCU wins it here tonight over Liberty 64-59. The Flames will turn their sights next to Indiana. Top 10 team coming up on Saturday. For Paul Nazigan, my name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.